All right, from Tony. I swim, but have tried doing it fast. The last two times I've come out of the pool, it's as if I'm drunk. I'm unable to walk straight. That's not good, uh, Tony. Um, now, it could be that... Um, have you, well, I, I mean, it may be a low blood sugar phenomenon, but I would suspect that's a little unlikely. Um, usually if people fast, what they may have found is that their blood pressure has dropped. So um, now I'm not, of course, giving any kind of medical advice, but one recommendation could be to try drinking a little more and load it with electrolytes. Um, that might be an option that you could use in order to see if you feel a little better. Typically that lightheadedness, um, it could be low glucose, but that's not too common. Um, especially for swimming, unless you're really sprinting swimming, um, uh, I suspect you may have a better benefit by focusing on the water and electrolytes. <clears throat> Rich, um, what impact does fructose have on insulin? That's a great question. Fructose does not directly have an impact. Fructose does not induce an insulin release. The problem with fructose, why you, you could someone have, they could drink pure fruit juice, which is just fructose, and then have a spike in glucose is because the body can convert the fructose to glucose very, very well. And indeed, the liver does that very well. And so pure fructose will, in fact, give a high glucose rise um, usually, which is why a type 1 diabetic will say, give me some, uh, give me some juice because it will correct blood sugar. Been keto for two years and lost a lot of weight. Blood pressure has gone through the roof. It is 170 over 80 and nothing helps. Is there anything you can suggest? That is surprising, uh, Marsha. That is not common, um, not to make you feel, I, I hope you feel special. Um, usually blood pressure, pressure drops and it drops so quickly that a person has to change their medication. I can't, um, I have to speculate here because I'm not familiar with any papers, Marsha, that have identified a mechanism. One mechanism could be that when we restrict carbs or fast, epinephrine goes up um, or adrenaline. That's because it wants to start telling the liver to release more glucose in order to make up for the glucose that's no longer coming in through the mouth. Um, the Another effect of adrenaline or epinephrine is that it will increase blood pressure. Now, that's a high blood pressure in this case. Um, and then alternatively, then it might just be excessive caffeine, although that would be a lot of caffeine to increase blood pressure that high. But Marsha, that is a high number and it may be worth you just having a visit with your clinician because that is pretty high, uh, 170 over 80, especially if you're in a fasted state when fasting usually will lower that. If I need more insulin as a type 1 diabetic when I lift weights, is that a problem? I guess resistance training leads to glycogen release. Yeah, any kind of training, any movement will stimulate the liver, uh, the muscle to start, oh, well, uh, well, breaking down its own glycogen, but also the liver breaking down its glycogen, especially if you aren't eating. If you're not eating during the workout, then the liver is going to be releasing glycogen into the blood. <clears throat> um, but yeah, and remember, Carol, of course, you are constantly struggling with your elevated glucagon. Um and in that case, uh, an insulin dose would be absolutely appropriate for type 1 diabetes. All right, Dave, um, can you possibly give a good animal-based protein to use? I have one occasionally, two protein shakes daily, and you've been using Z-Works. Thanks. Um, yeah, I mean, there are some good options. Indeed, um, Health Code Complete Meal is a good option, although that's more of a full meal replacement than just protein. Um, in general, if you can be getting your protein if you're not going to get it from that, I mean, whey protein is a good source. That's animal. So, so basically, Dave, I mean, the the short and skinny of it is, if it's meat or eggs or dairy, that's an animal protein. Now, it, uh, it doesn't have to be a shake, of course. It can be a, a, a full meal of of say hamburger or chicken or eggs or you know whatever. But the animal sourced proteins are any of the above: meat, eggs, dairy. Dairy is the easiest because it's been powdered into so many different types of whey. And whey is very, very good source of protein that you can get from all kinds of sources. Of course, remember, guys, I'm not giving medical advice, but now I can cite studies. There are now multiple papers finding phenomenally good glucose control in type 1 diabetics with the use of a low-carb diet. So as everyone with type 1 diabetes knows, or the loved one you're thinking of, di uh, often they suffer from this just massive variability in their glucose levels throughout the day, which is an enormous source of not feeling well and being anxious. 
um, as the person adopts a low carb diet and any of the type one diabetics listening can attest to this, it just starts to flatline, which is much more comforting. And at the same time, you dose with significantly less insulin. So the insulin needs drop dramatically as carbs are restricted. And remember that used to be the standard of care in type one diabetes, what we call type one. It wasn't called, it was just called severe diabetes at the time. It used to be that you would put them on a carbohydrate restricted diet and they would feel better um, until we discovered insulin. And once insulin became a therapy, thankfully, thank goodness, it is life-saving. Then all of a sudden it became the mantra of eat whatever you want and just inject yourself with insulin. And that is not a good way to have stable blood sugars in anyone, let alone a type one diabetic.